What's going on everybody? This is Brian from SneakerFiles.com. Once again, we're recapping the news from yesterday. Like always, it's posted on SneakerFiles.com first. So if you want to, visit the website, check it out, get it there first. And as of now, news is going live for today. Now, some of the highlights, I mean, it really depends what you're into or, you know, what your style is and whatever it may be. But uh, the Jimmy Jazz restock, I mean, that's having some shoes for everybody, but that's going to be crazy. That's towards the end of the video. Um, the Nike Air Max 1, the Master, those are dope in my opinion. Also, the Air Max Day, Air Max 1 Ultra 2.0, um, they're okay. They're pretty nice. But other than that, you're just going to have to stick through the video to see what you like. And without wasting too much of your time, let's jump into it. You can now customize the Nike Dunk and the Nike Air Force One to represent your favorite school. Actually, only 13 schools are included, all sponsored by Nike. Getting a bit more specific, you can customize the Nike Air Force One High, Mid and Low, along with the Nike Dunk High and Low. Included in the collection are models that represent Alabama, Arizona, Connecticut, Duke, Kentucky, Michigan State, Ohio State, Oregon, Syracuse, Tennessee, Texas, Villanova, and West Virginia. The school's logo will be placed towards the hill while featuring a Nike swoosh inspired by varsity jackets. For those interested in customizing their own pair, they are available at Nike ID right now. For the past several years, Nike Sportswear has debuted the Nike Be True collection, and for 2017, they're dropping a unique Nike Flyknit racer, known of course as Be True. The Be True series is inspired by the LGBT community that represents conviction and commitment, pairing two prominent symbols of pride, the rainbow flag and pink triangle. Using a black and white color theme, multiple colors are used across the Nike swoosh, which forms a rainbow while pink lands on the liner. Currently, there isn't a set release date, however, they're expected to drop during summer 2017. Not a bad look to be honest, the swoosh, a little bit flashy for my taste, but I'm sure somebody can appreciate them. Once more details become available, we'll make sure to update you. Reebok is teaming up with Packer Shoes and Atmos for a special Reebok Insta Pump Fury known as Doraemon. Doraemon is an animated star of one of the most beloved children's series of all time in Japan. As you can see, they feature a blue, pink, and white color theme, which represents Doraemon. More than likely, this will be a hard release to obtain, but for those interested, they drop Saturday, March 4th, 2017, at Packer Shoes, as well as online and at Atmos NYC. Retail price will be $190. They're also dropping in kids sizes, which will be a Japan exclusive, and they will be available at Atmos Tokyo. Leading up to Air Max Day, Nike Sportswear will have a ton of releases. Here we have the Nike Air Max 1 Ultra 2.0 known as Air Max Day. Paying tribute to the 1987 original release of the Nike Air Max 1, this pair comes in white and university red. As you can see, it has 326 across the tongue, which pinpoints back to Air Max Day. They're set to release on March 16, 2017 for a retail price of $120. I don't know if these will be limited, I'm sure they'll be more on the difficult side of obtaining, but if you're able to wake up early, hit the Nike sneakers app, and do a little bit of leg work, you should be able to cop them. Here's something you don't see every day. Pizza Hut designed a pair of sneakers known as Pie Tops. Now the shoes of course come in a white and red theme with Pizza Hut branding throughout, but the highlight, well for some, would be that the tongue, which has Bluetooth enabled, can actually order pizzas from Pizza Hut. They did shoot a commercial for this, which features Grant Hill, and it's a bit weird to see Grant Hill sporting different shoes. I mean, to me, he's a Fila guy. Either way, it's still kind of a cool commercial and definitely a cool concept for the shoes. Now, only 64 pairs were created, of course, celebrating the NCAA tournament, but it isn't known if they're going to release or if they're going to auction them off or even just give them away. But I'll make sure to update you on sneakerfalls.com once information is available. Although covered in the March Air Jordan release dates video I just uploaded yesterday, which there will be a link in the description below if you want to check that out, we have more images of the Black Cat Air Jordan 31. As you can see, they use a all black theme and they will have the Black Cat insignia on the insole. Now they're set to drop on March 10, 2017. Retail price will be 185. I personally think the Nike Air Max 97 isn't appreciated as much as it should be. However, dropping something totally out of the normal and then throwing a 400 retail price on them isn't something I'm about. However, these aren't meant for me. It's a women's drop and this is the Nike Air Max 97 LX which features black and white. 
Some of you might be wondering why the high retail price. Well, they do feature crystallized overlays, taped eye stays, along with text all across the uppers. Either way, I'm the 400 price tag isn't for me. Um, although they do look nice, but the white outsole also kills it. I could do without crystals on my shoes personally, but they're available at Undefeated and Keth Women's. Retail price, like I said, is 400. I'm not sure if their size is still available, but um, I believe Undefeated sold out. You might need to check out Keth. It seems like it's only been a few months since the Adidas Ultra Boost 3.0 release. Actually, it is only a few months. I believe it they dropped back in December. But now the Adidas Ultra Boost 4.0 is showing up at select retailers overseas. I'll have a link in the description below if you want to check out. I'm not sure if they ship stateside. But overall, the Prime Knit looks to be about the same thickness. It just features a new pattern. And we have a smoky, somewhat smoky, translucent three stripes cage, full length midsole, and continental outsole. As for an official stateside launch, expect them to be available towards the end of 2017. We all know that Air Max Day is going to be huge, even leading up to it, but now we have a detailed look at the Nike Air Max 1 known as the Master. So the whole theme behind this shoe is kind of like a what the. Now it features various prints and graphics through the mudguard, black across the upper using leather and some hits of perforation while gum covers the outsole. Now they're set to drop on March 26 and I believe we featured this in a past video however we do have a detailed look now which shows us inc the incredible details throughout and I'm believing these are going to be a limited drop and regardless if they're limited to somewhat of a GR they're probably going to be hard to obtain either way. Jimmy Jazz is having a huge restock and if you're in Harlem you're not going to want to miss it. So celebrating the re-grand opening of their flagship store they're going to have of course Jordans Yeezys and even foams that have already sold out and it's to me it's almost a little bit weird like especially the Yeezys it looks like from this list they're gonna have like some of the V1s of course the V2s and then a, a lot of the Jordans that have been sold out from the past few years available so obviously they've been keeping them in a vault but this is your chance to purchase now my only thing with it they're doing it on a first come first serve basis and with the amount of stuff they're having available it might turn out to be a little bit hectic. Either way, they open their doors at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And the store is located at 239 West 125th Street in Harlem. Alright everybody, so that recaps the news from yesterday. To be 100% honest, kind of a slow day. However, it does make it easier for me, but at the same time, it's a little bit boring. But um, what caught my eye is the Nike Air Max 1, the Master. I think those look really, really dope. Um colorful but at the same time it's just a clean shoe i like the black uppers and then the the pop really just is minimal um what i think is really weird is the pizza hut pie tops like the innovation or the idea behind it um it is pretty creative i will give them that however it's just pizza hut making sneakers uh, i don't know uh, it doesn't really catch to me. The Adidas Ultra Boost 4.0 Core Black and Triple White looks to be interesting. I'm sure they're as comfortable as the 3.0, but those are one of those models you kind of have to see in hand. The restock, I'm not located in New York or in Harlem or anywhere around there. I'm actually on the West Coast, so I won't be attending this. And even if I was, I probably wouldn't be because I can already foresee something negative happening. It's just the way this just seems to be set up on a first come first serve basis it doesn't seem like it's going to end well for somebody um somebody's gonna get mad or you know just something the nike air max 97 interesting um the fact that it features like this crystallized upper um it does you know kind of pop but it's just not really my style for sneakers um but other than that i mean that recaps it um i believe the video from yesterday was a bit more interesting especially with the cause leak um, other than that, the Be True, it's a little bit flashy, not my style. The Nike Air Max 1 Ultra 2.0 Air for Air Max Day, those are pretty dope. I mean, it reflects the classic, but there's just so much releasing as far on the Air Max side that I, you know, have to pick and choose, and I'm sure a lot of you guys do too. But if you made it this far, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think is dope, what you think is a definite pass, or just your thoughts in general. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to sneakerfiles.com, and if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe.